Hi everybody, Gribben here, and as we've all heard, Scott is retiring from the Five Nights at Freddy's franchise. Agree or disagree with him on his stance is not why we're here today. A successor has yet to be announced, but I feel like it would be Steel Wool that seems the most capable of creating the games, but we still don't know who's going to be the head of creative control. We still have to wait and see. This video today is just a few ideas on where the games in the near future could possibly be taking their direction. Now these are just my ideas on what I've seen video game companies do over the past 30 years that I've played video games, so without delay, let's just jump right into this. Number 1. Complete Remakes When a company doesn't know exactly what to do with a franchise but it wants to stay relevant, what is the number one thing they always refer to? Remaking of old content. It may sound like a cash grab to some, but there could be something amazing in this. Imagine FNAF 1 completely redone from the ground up with new sprites or even new mechanics in general. I think it would be pretty cool to revisit the old numbered entries with more realistic looking animatronics. Maybe new jump scares? New looks? Or maybe even improved environments? If the movie isn't pushed back further due to Scott's departure, it wouldn't be too far-fetched to think of them remastering FNAF 1 to go along with the movie with character sprites from the movie. That is, if they keep the original story or remake it based on the movie or a new timeline. Which leads me to my next idea. Number two, splits in the timeline. This one pretty much depends on Security Breach and how it fits into the story. I personally think Security Breach will take really early in the timeline, somewhere between FNAF 4 or Sister Location, maybe even number one in the main story. I know there's evidence to prove otherwise, but we've been trolled in the past, we'll just have to wait and see. If it takes place as the newest game in the franchise, it gives the new creative control a nearly fresh slate on where to take the franchise from here. However, if I'm correct and it takes place as one of the earliest games in the timeline, it will most likely leave questions unanswered, as all the games have done up until this point, and could convolute the story even further in the post-Scott era of the franchise. With Scott no longer 100% capacity, I hope I'm wrong and entries 1 through 6 are a finished story, leaving Help Wanted and Security Breach to start down a new path. Number 3. Reused Assets This could follow down the same road as remakes, except this is a little bit more cash-grabby. For example, if anybody's familiar with the Metal Gear Solid franchise, Hideo Kojima's last project with Konami was Metal Gear Solid 5 before he was let go. Post-Kojima era, Konami created a game called Metal Gear Survive. They pitched it as a completely new game with new mechanics and new gameplay. However, upon further inspection of the game, it was noticed that they used the same assets from Metal Gear Solid 5, except they were more destroyed and used a dark gray haze around the map that was poisonous to try to hide this fact. The game was released at $40, but it could have been treated like a $20 DLC. It sounds a little hypocritical to my first point being remakes, but remakes could be released at $5 to $10, and you know what you're getting. But Security Breach isn't going to be a $10 title, and there's nothing stopping them from reskinning Security Breach's assets for the next game under the guise of a new game charging $30 to $40 for reused assets. Needless to say, Metal Gear Survive wasn't regarded kindly by the community, and I fear post-Security Breach game doing the same thing wouldn't be either. Number 4. A Dry Spell This is worst case scenario. If the new creative control has no idea what to do with the franchise, we may go years without a new game until the heat from Scott dies down and he decides that he wants to come back, or we just chalk Security Breach up to being the final game of the franchise. I highly doubt this will happen, but it's entirely plausible. I mainly brought up this video just to give you an idea on what video game companies have done with franchises they don't know what to do with. In the post-Scott Cawthon era, what do you think is going to happen with the FNAF franchise? I'd love to hear what you think and love to have a discussion in the comments below, so be sure to leave one. And that's about all the time I have for this video, so be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Join the community if you feel so inclined. I'll leave links in the description below. But until the next video or the next stream, my friends, stay happy, stay healthy, stay safe. Bye bye